Hey, Sailor Life family and friends, just hope you're doing good today. Just want to bring you a word of encouragement. Uh, I was listening to this song the other day. It was just this crazy line in there. It says, you know, Jesus, you have your reasons, but I have my doubts. You have your reasons, but I have my doubts. And I don't know if that resonates with you. I don't know if that means something to you, but that means something to me sometimes where I know God is sovereign. I know Jesus is good. And I know he's got his reasons, but I've got my doubts. I've got my confusion. I've got my moments of faithlessness. And, you know, if you feel that way, you're in good company. I was just reading from Exodus, uh, the, the life of Moses. And Moses was this interesting guy because God had called him to greatness. God had called him to do great things. Yet Moses doesn't feel that way, right? He's on the back side of the desert. He's, you know, lived his life. He's run away from Egypt and he's kind of a failure in many ways. And he's just a shepherd on the back side of the desert and the Lord meets him. And he meets him in this fire, in this bush that's can be burning but not being consumed. And he tells him, you know, Moses, take off your shoes. You're on holy ground. And he does. And God speaks to him. And he has this powerful experience of God. And he knows that he's met with the I Am. He knows that he's met with God. And God tells him, Moses, I want to use you to do great things. I want to use you to redeem my people. And Moses, you know, if he should have been like, wow, awesome, great, you know, let's do this. But Moses, that's not what he does. And Moses is full of confusion and he's full of conflict and he's full of insecurities and he's protesting against God and he's making this list of reasons why God can't possibly use him, why he cannot speak and why he cannot go back to Egypt and why the people won't listen to him and why Pharaoh won't listen to him and all these things and all these reasons and he has He's this mix of insecurities. And, you know, Moses is like 80 years old. You know, you, you, you would think that people who are like in their 80s have kind of figured out life, but apparently they haven't. And, you know, I'm like 45-ish, and I'm realizing, you know, I don't have it worked out, you know? And I may not have it worked out when I'm 60, you know, by myself. And you may not have it worked out either. And, you know, we have these insecurities. We have these doubts. We know, God, you have your reasons. But I have my doubts. I have my doubts. And, and God won't encourage Moses in the way that we would encourage Moses. You know, when we encourage people, we just kind of tell them how good they are. And we kind of point in to their strengths and kind of diminish their weaknesses and things like this. God doesn't do that. In fact, he doesn't even talk about Moses so much. He talks about himself. He says, Moses, I am the God Yahweh. I am the God El Shaddai. I am the God that appeared to your ancestors. He says, and I love you guys. And I have promises for you. And I'm going to do something to you and for your people. He says, I am going to free them. I am going to redeem them. I am going to make them my very own people. I am going to be their God. And in the end, they're going to know me. And in fact, not just them, but you are going to know me in a powerful, special way. And this is how God encouraged Moses to get out of his insecurities, to get out of his doubts, and just go with God. It wasn't that he lifted Moses up. He lifted himself up. He said, this is who I am. This is who I am, and this is what I'm speaking to you, Moses. I am able to do this, and I will do this through you. And so maybe God has called you into some ministry. Maybe he's got, called you into a certain area in your life, a certain role in your life. Maybe that's being a parent. Maybe that's being uh, a brother or a sister. Maybe that's being you know, a worker. Maybe that's being uh, a pastor or uh, someone in ministry or whatever your role is in life. There's tons of roles, you know, it doesn't matter. And none of them are easy, you know. Life is not easy. And we have our insecurities because, you know, we're not always given a manual like, hey, this, this is how you do life, right? We have these insecurities. We have our doubts of what God is calling us into. And allow him to do what he did with Moses. Allow him to remind you of himself, remind you of himself.
that he would give you a refocus, that he would renew your strength, that he would renew your vision for him and what he wants to do in and to and through you. Let us be those who live and move and have our being in him, in him, in his sufficiency, in his ability to do, in his person, not in ourselves. Because, you know, we have our doubts, right? But Jesus has his reasons and he can back up his reasons. So, so I just want to encourage you today, move forward in the strength of the Lord. Let him do the amazing because he is the amazing one. He is the El Shaddai. He is the Yahweh. He is your father who loves you and is for you. Thank you.